Hello, Leo. Let's see what we have for you. May 8th through 14th. We have priest in reverse. Violates the trust of your spiritual community. Seduced by your own spiritual role. And then letting go. And cave sanctuary. This is interesting, Leo, because I feel like somebody wants to let something go and move on. It feels very much to me like somebody's ready to leave something behind. Um, and what's interesting is I feel like this is a point of vulnerability for someone. And you're like bringing something back up or something to their attention that's going to make them put their guard up. Um, be careful though, because I feel like this is a significant thing. Like it really hits them in a weird way. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful of pushing your agenda this week. I feel like you need to read the room. <laughs> um, cause I feel like someone, uh, it's like someone is trying to be nice to you. Or trying to offer you an apology or be kind, kinder than they have been. Um, and I feel like in this week, you're like, I'm going to stand up for myself. And you're like blindly focused on what it is that you're trying to get across. That I feel like you're missing out on an apology. And this is going to wound this person. Like, I feel like it starts a series of events. Yeah, because this week you're all about being happy, being content. It almost feels like you've been through a lot. Yeah, you've been through a lot and you're ready to start a new journey and you're ready to do things different. You know, um, you want to be optimistic that what is, Wish fulfillment for you will come if you just kind of speak your mind and follow your path. Um, I do feel like you have to look at other people's feelings. Someone's emotionally walking away from something. It's almost like they want to apologize. I really get that vibe, Leo. Like they're just sorry. They're sorry. Um, they don't, they're not sure how to approach you. And I feel like the approach is a little bit confusing because you're not sure like if it's a real apology or if they're just trying to act like nothing happened. Um, but I do feel like it's important for you to take sort of a slower pace and listen. I'm not saying that you have to give up everything because it almost feels to you like, oh, they want a guilt trip or they want somebody to feel bad for them because they're being nice to me. Not all the times they were being wrong, wronging me, you know, that's what it feels like to me um, for you. Yeah, somebody is definitely giving you an apology. Yeah, it's like the situation is getting better, but all you can think of is what you've been through in the past. And that desire to have your emotions justified is like causing you to not forget about the past. You know, it's like you're not, you can't move on. You need to get this off of your chest. Um, it's for the safety of you. Like you're doing it for you. But I feel like it's starting a series of events. Yeah, I feel like this person is taking this as an attack. And they're going to be kind of ruthless at this point. 
It's like they're taking this very personal. So just heads up on that, okay? So let's see what we got for the rest of the week. Okay, so we have gift and imprisonment. Yeah, I do feel like someone's apologizing to you. It's almost like they feel like they're being the bigger person or doing something huge. But I feel like, and they want to like let it off their chest. But I feel like to you, it doesn't feel that way. It almost feels like, it feels to me like you don't care anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like the the connection, the relationship, the friendship, the co-workership, whatever, has already kind of hit a problem space. Yeah, someone's coming in adamant. Like, they feel proud of themselves that they're doing something big. Um, It's rather impulsive, which lets me know this is out of character for them. Um, but I feel like you... You're not sure if you want to accept it. You're not sure if you believe it, even though it's coming towards you. I do feel like this has a lot to do with pride and you not wanting to be vulnerable or allowing someone to see you weak or apologizing, you know, like accepting their apology as if it means nothing. So that's what I see you doing. And then we have thief and courthouse. And main female in reverse. Avoid doing anything illegal this week. Um, I feel like you're going to get caught. It's like you think like, well, I didn't get caught before or I've never gotten caught. Um, you're going to get caught this week if you do something you're not supposed to do. Yeah, and I'm going to say this. You'll be punished to the fullest extent of the law, whatever that means. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to jail, but it does mean that you will get in trouble. <laughs> um. Because it feels to me like there may be a lot of responsibility at work and you're like, maybe I'll do not the most or you're not paying attention to what it is you're doing. Because um, I feel like there's regret. Yeah, there's regret like money missing or a loss of an opportunity or you'll have to pay something back. So just be careful. Because I feel like, yeah, someone's going to be really upset about it. And they're going to see it. It's like they didn't see it before or didn't pay attention to it before. But they will see it this time, whatever that means. And then we have unexpected income and reverse and pathway. Yeah, this is you paying some money back, I'm telling you, okay? I feel like you're going to have to pay some money back that you didn't expect. So uh, be careful of that. And this might be an opportunity where you miss out on what have been a raise or um, a promotion.
Yeah, it's like you're not valuing money in some way. Um, and because of that, because you are kind of like detached or not paying attention and or you're thinking about yourself or you're in your own head, maybe about a breakup or a, a love situation. Um, yeah, it just feels like something that was supposed to be yours is taken away from you or put on pause. Yeah, because you, you, it's like you were emotionally involved in something or like disconnected from work, like you didn't care. And now you have this issue to deal with. So this is coming up twice, which pay attention at work, especially if you work with money or investments or something like that. Okay. All right, Leo, I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.